I think there's a need to talk about this mold. It's called Stachybotrys. It's black mold. It has kind of a slight greenish color to it. It can be sometimes somewhat a slimy feel to it. But it's very prevalent in some homes and it can be very dangerous. Bad for your health. I'll talk about that in a minute. And also it can even actually be deadly. So if you see something like this in the house, you need to take care of this problem and eradicate it. And of course, where I live in New Orleans, there's a lot of moisture. So that helps it to grow, obviously, in areas where there's more moisture. Uh, it can start with a water leak, uh, a roof leak, or something like that, or any type of moisture. Um, you might find it, it might start in the bathroom area, but it's something that you have to take care of. Um, I'll talk more about, about it right here. It's a toxic black mold. Uh, it's named commonly as Stachybotrys. It's one of the most in infamous toxic molds because it can grow in houses and extremely dangerous to humans. Stachybotrys is known as a toxic mold because it produces toxins called mycotoxins. Toxic black mold is a greenish black gelatinous mold. It's usually slimy because of a wet layer on the top. However, if a toxic black mold colony's water source runs out, it can appear dry and powdery. So take that note too. Uh, there are several molds that look similar to toxic black mold. If you find what you think might be stachybotrys, the only way to tell for sure is to have a mold expert look um, at a sample under a microscope. Now here's some of the symptoms, and they can be really bad, so it's a, it is a serious thing. Uh, mycotoxins of toxic black molds cause people to suffer from toxic symptoms. The general symptoms of um, caused by toxic black mold include respiratory problems, skin inflammation, hemorrhage, irritation of the mucous membranes, damage to internal organs, mental impairment, tiredness, nausea, immune system suppression. Toxic black mold can cause permanent damage to your health. In extreme cases, toxic black mold has led to death. Because of the serious health benefits toxic black mold can cause, if you find it in your home, you need to take steps to get remove, a, remove it immediately. The longer you're around toxic black mold, the more it will damage your health. Now I want to show you this video. This is just a recent video, just one example I found on the news here. And this is in the San Francisco area where uh, fire department had it. And so they're having to move out. Well, an odd scene this morning on Treasure Island, to be sure, is firefighters were forced to evacuate their own firehouse. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom is there live right now to explain what happened. Jonathan. Well, the culprit in this case isn't fire, it's mold. The nasty black mold that ruins buildings and makes people sick. If you look behind me, you can see there are no more fire trucks at this fire station, only evidence of people moving out. That's after firefighters called in a complaint of some of that mold. When the city sent over investigators, they told them it wasn't safe for anyone to be here. But tonight, there are questions about whether the city acted quickly enough. Box after box of personal items and firefighting gear. All of it has to go. The locks are being changed. Watch that bump, right? The beds loaded into trucks. Fire station 48 is closed. We just got the report yesterday that, you know, there's mold in a few of the downstairs rooms, and they recommend abating it, and to abate it, we need to get the members out of here. What was the one working fire station on Treasure Island is by no means a modern building. It was originally built by the Navy before San Francisco took control of the island. So we inherited that building basically and moved in the city also inherited this fire academy on the island which will serve as the firehouse while station 48 is cleaned up they've only moved a couple blocks away it, we don't expect it to have any impact on response times it's built of cinder block far different from station 48's aging wood frame firefighters there say the building's been falling apart for years they even started documenting their efforts to keep out rainwater a primary cause of mold they shot this cell phone video of a tarp they put over a leaky window and a trench they dug to keep water from getting in through the siding. Now, top-ranking fire officials are looking into it. Might have a couple of uh, leaky windows that could be causing it, and there could be a leaky roof that might be causing it. So, so the exact nature of the cause is not known until they open up these walls and find out what's going on. But firefighters who've lived here say they complained about the leaky roof years ago. One said he used to wake up in the middle of the night with headaches. Another said you could smell the mold. Administrators say none of those complaints ever reached them, or they would have acted sooner. Health and safety to us is not worth playing around. With. I mean, we, we don't, we're not going to keep our members somewhere where they're going to get sick. That's just crazy. Well, mold is the culprit here. This is not the only cleanup underway on Treasure Island. The Navy left.